Augustine on the northeast coast of Florida, the oldest city in the United States. Its authentic Spanish colonial architecture makes it a pleasure to stroll the historic district. Our first stop today is the Castillo de San Marcos, the oldest and best preserved example of a Spanish fort in the continental United States. Construction on this fort began in 1672 and was completed by 1695. Here we go, we are at Castillo de San Marcos. I yeah, like this crest up here, even though it doesn't come out very good. Mm. So this is a drawbridge. Yeah. All right. Oh, the soldiers' quarters. Here are their beds. This is the. The garrisons for soldiers, quarters, fireplace. He spent his time on guard duty at outposts, drilling with his weapons, protecting his family. In his rare downtime, he may have smoked or played games. The prison. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's locked even now. Looks pretty bad. So that's the old fashioned toilet, wooden seats with a hole in it. Had a twice natural flushing system, tides filled the pit with seawater, and the ongoing tides flush waste out into the bay. I find these early Spanish cannons so interesting. They are ornately decorated. And the bronze guns are covered in a green patina. Towards the muzzle, there is the Spanish royal coat of arms. So these are plastered remains of the Holy Fount. And you can see that they're eroding at the bottom from all the oils and minerals from people's fingers touching it. Beautiful. Looks like a, a schooner or something out there. You see it? Okay, here's some awesome cannons. I think there were originally 60 up here. And they could shoot three and a half miles out. Like this little tower. I guess it's a lookout tower. All the pigeons are living on it now.
All of these guns are covered with a green patina. They were bright and shiny when they were first made. There are markings on these cannons. At the back, you can find the name of the maker and the city where it was made and the date of when it was manufactured. We are now going to go over to um, another fort, Fort Matanzas, which is about 15 miles south of this fort on the Matanzas Inlet. The Spanish built Fort Matanzas to protect the southern approach to St. Augustine. Spanish ships from Cuba used this waterway to resupply the town during the 1740 British siege. After the siege, they built this fortified outpost. It soon proved its worth. In 1742, cannon fire from the fort drove back two British boats scouting the channel for larger warships. So we're going to take a ferry ride across to the fort. In 1865, Matanzas Inlet was the place of a massacre of 250 French soldiers. From that time, the inlet was called Matanzas, the Spanish word for slaughter. The Spanish yeah. built Fort Matanzas to control the Matanzas Inlet, which was the back door to St. Augustine. So it's gonna take a little bit of thought to do that. Um, but before we start thinking about building the fort, we're gonna start thinking about your face. So please watch your step climbing up here. Please use the handrails. Remember, these are rough wooden handrails. So be careful, don't get splinters in your hands. If you all would like to go up to the lookout, very top. Well, you're sort of working your way down. Might take, depending on how many folks are up there, might take a while for everybody to get down. From the top there. So around 2 o'clock, start thinking about coming on down. Around 2 o'clock, we're going to start taking the last part. Cute. Cute. Down here, this is the watch lookout tower. Lookout tower, so they shot the cannons from down there. Uh huh. Oh. Okay. Matanzas, which means slaughter. Yep. <laughs> powder magazine and food storage. Kansas River which leads out to the Atlantic Ocean. I like that um, heather out there. With the I wonder how many cannons they had down there. They had to have Yeah, it's like a little turret, you know. Hide in there and fire one of those muskets. This is a beautiful day in October in St. Augustine. 
one of the many adventures, places to visit, fun things to do. I think that's the end of this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you. Um, I'm filming. Oh, my knees. My legs are so big. Did you see what the problem was with the legs? Yeah. I had to twist them. Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, that's right. You don't go one by one, do you? You, go, you jump one. I had to twist my leg this way because I stuck up too oh, far. Yeah that way.